in this lecture let us discuss about constructive cost model also called as kokomo model this model is a widely used algorithmic model in software engineering to estimate the cost effort and schedule for a software project it was developed by barry boehm in the early 1980s and is based on historical data from real software development projects the model helps in predicting the resources required to complete a software development project based on project size and complexity and here it uses set of equations to estimate effort required for developing the software and uh, and this will be done based on the factors like size of the code base which is measured in thousands of lines of code as well as other project related attributes key parameters of kokomo model kokomo model relies on several key parameters to estimate the effort cost and schedule of software projects these parameters are essential for calculating the project size cost drivers and adjusting the effort based on various influencing factors and first one is effort effort is nothing but the output of the model which is calculated by considering both the size of the software as well as effort adjustment factors it indicates how many person months are needed to complete the project second one is schedule the estimated time to complete the project often measured in months the model also estimates a project schedule based on the effort and a productivity factor which is derived from the effort third one is software size so size of the software it is usually me measured in lines of code so thousands of lines of code is represented as kloc and then we have cost drivers these are the specific attributes or characteristics of the project that influence the overall effort needed to complete it they represent factors such as product reliability development team experience etc and we have various categories of cost drivers like product attributes hardware attributes personal attributes project attributes etc so we'll discuss about these drivers in detail uh, in intermediate kokomo model along with this we have uh, other parameters like uh, constants then uh, effort adjustment factor and also productivity factor phase dependent factors etc so we are just taking only the important parameters here types of projects in the kokomo model here software projects are classified into three main types based on their complexity development environment and the constraints involved these types help in determining the constants and effort multipliers used in the models calculations and the first type is organic projects organic category these are the small to medium sized software projects that are relatively simple in terms of complexity as well as development constraints and here the project is typically developed by small team of developers the requirements are generally well understood and stable the team is familiar with the problem domain and uses relatively straightforward development process examples include simple business applications small desktop applications or prototype systems second one is semi detached projects these projects have moderate level of complexity and involve a mix of experienced and less experienced personnel and the project might involve more than one team working in parallel with coordination required between them the software can have more complex requirements in organic projects but they are still mostly well understood some uncertainties or changes may occur but overall the development process structured and controlled so we can see that a mix of skilled and uh, less experienced developer working in a moderately structured environment in this type of projects and uh, examples include medium sized business systems moderate uh, scale enterprise applications or internal corporate tools third one is embedded projects these are large complex software projects that are typically developed under tight hardware or operational constraints often for real time or mission critical applications the project involves complex interactions with hardware and external systems and the requirements are often highly constrained by factors such as performance safety and compliance with strict standards the development teams they often face high uncertainty and the software may require a highly formalized development process 
Examples of uh, embedded projects include real-time systems, embedded software, aerospace and defense applications, medical devices or automotive systems. Types of Kokomo model include three categories. One is basic Kokomo, then intermediate Kokomo and detailed Kokomo model. So coming to the first one, basic Kokomo, this is a very simple version of the Kokomo model used to estimate the effort in person months and the time required to complete a software project. It provides an initial estimate based primarily on the size of the software system measured in KLOC, that is thousands of lines of code, and the type of project being developed. So we have three different types of projects, right? right? Organic, semi-detached or embedded. So based on the type of project being developed also, initial estimate will be provided here. Key features include input. So the model uses estimated size of uh, software, KLOC and the type of project and uh, as input. And output include the model calculates the effort in person months and the time required to complete the project. In basic Kokomo model, effort in person months is calculated by using this formula. So this formula is for calculating the effort and we can even calculate the time also. Time equal to C into effort power D. So this A, B, C and D, they are nothing but the constants which depends on the project being estimated. Whereas effort is nothing but the estimated effort required in person months and KLOC is the estimated size of the software in thousands of lines of code. In this table, you can see the values of A, B, C and D for all the three categories of projects. So we are going to substitute these values in the effort formula and time formula based on the type of uh, project we are considering for uh, estimation. So let us take one example. Assume that you are working on a software project and size of the project is 50,000 lines of code which is represented as 50 KLOC. So our task is to calculate the effort and time for each of the three modes. So we, are we need to calculate this effort and time for all the three categories organic, semi-detached and embedded. So for the organic mode, first calculate effort, formula of effort is, is equal to A into KLOC power B. So what is value of A? A value for organic mode is 2.4 and B value is 1.05. So substitute them. Here KLOC is 50. So place it here. So after calculating, we got 156. Effort is calculated in person month. Then in the same way, you can calculate the development time also. So what is the formula for development time? This is C into effort power D. So let us take C and D values for organic mode. So C value is 2.5 and D value is 0 0.38. So substitute them here and place this effort in, in this place. So after calculation, we got this value as 17. So time should be measured in months. So we did for the first mode. So in the same way, we need to do for the remaining two categories also. So for the semi-detached mode, find out A, B, C and D values. So for this, A value is 3, B value is 1.12. So substitute this 3 and 1.12 here. And this lines of code is same. Then C value was 2.5, D value was 0.35. So substitute them so that we'll get the development time as well. Then for the third mode, again, take the third uh, values, embedded values. For A and B, A value is 3.6 and B value is 1.20. So just substitute them so that we'll get one value. Then find out development time where we need C and D values, 2.5 and 0 0.32. So 2.5, 0 0.32. Right? So this is how we need to calculate effort and development time in basic Kokomo model.
There are few drawbacks with basic Kokomo model. Basic Kokomo does not take into account detailed project specific factors like uh, team experience or product reliability which may affect the effort. And the model provides a rough estimate and is mainly used for initial planning and high level estimation. Second one is intermediate Kokomo model which builds upon the basic Kokomo model by incorporating additional factors called cost drivers that adjust the effort estimation based on various attributes of the software project. These cost drivers account for the influence of different project characteristics like product reliability, hardware constraints, personal capabilities that can significantly affect the effort required to complete the project. The basic Kokomo model, it just depends only on the size of the project, whereas intermediate Kokomo model refines estimates by taking cost drivers also. And uh, how many cost drivers we have? Total 15. So all those 15 cost drivers, they are based on uh, various attributes of software engineering. So we'll see those attributes. So first one is the product attributes. Uh, that is, uh, here you can see the required software reliability extent. That means the level of reliability required for the software and size of the database. So the complexity of the database the software needs to handle. Complexity of the product. So that, that is uh, nothing but the overall complexity of the software being developed. So for all these three, we are uh, estimating or we are taking values from very low to extra high. And this is a constant table. So these values are constant. Uh, so we need to use them when solving the problem based on the condition given in the question. Second category is hardware attributes. So that is uh, runtime performance constraints. These are the performance requirements of the software and uh, memory constraints which are related to memory that the software must use. Volatility of the virtual machine environment and also required turnabout time. So just like how we considered before, here also we'll take the values from very low to extra high. And all these attributes are represented like this. And third category is personal attributes. So one in first one indicate the analyst capability that is the experience and expertise of the analyst. Then software engineering capability and then application experience, the level of experience the development team has with the application domain. Virtual machine experience, the experience and expertise of the people who are using the virtual machine and programming language experience, the level of familiarity with the programming language used for development. And all these attributes are represented here whose values range from very low to extra high. And the last uh, set of attributes are project attributes. First one is use of software tools. So here the tools can be case tools, CAC, case tools, and the application of uh, software engineering methods. Then required development schedule, that is the urgency in the timeline of the project. And these are the values. In the intermediate Kokomo model, effort in person months is calculated by using this formula. So you can see the same formula is used here by making little modification. So this is the modified part. So we are going to multiply this with EAF, which is the effort adjustment factor. And for calculating the development time, we are taking the same formula. Let us take one example. Suppose a product was estimated to be made in 400 KLOC and the task is to calculate effort, time and the number of people required while considering the product has nominal complexity. So this point is important. Product is having normal nominal complexity and the developer has high virtual machine experience. So we need these two points for calculating EAF, effort adjustment factor. Okay, so we need to check this nominal complexity value of a product from table. So take the product attributes. Here we have complexity of the product, which is of nominal type. So complexity of nominal type means the value is 
वन सो लेट एस टेक दैट वन यस एंड हाई वर्चुअल एक्सपीरियंस सो वर्चुअल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ अ डिवलपर इज हाई दिस इज अ वर्चुअल मशीन एक्सपीरियंस सो गो टू द टेबल एंड फॉर हाई द वैल्यू फॉर दिस इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन जीरो सो टेक दैट वैल्यू Now we need to multiply these two values to get this effort adjustment factor. So we got zero point nine. In the intermediate Kokomo model, effort in person months is calculated by using this equation: E equal to A into K L O C par B, which is common in na basic Kokomo. Along with that, you need to multiply. Mul you need to multiply that value with E A F value, which we got just now. So take the constants from the table. The table which we considered for basic Kokomo, substitute them, and the scale OC value was four hundred. We got EAF value was zero point nine. So from this we got effort value as one one six five, approximately one one six six person months, because effort is calculated in person months. Then time is C into E part D. So substitute this effort in this place. From this we got time as Thirty-seven months. Along with this too, we need to calculate number of people required. So this can be obtained by dividing E by T. So divide E by T. One one six five point seven five two divided by thirty-seven. So we'll get this value around. Thirty-two. That means thirty-two members are required for completing this project. And the third one is detailed Kokomo model, which is an extended version of intermediate Kokomo model. It offers an even more refined approach to estimating the effort, time, and cost of a software project by incorporating additional phase of development and more detailed cost drivers. Detail Kokomo allows for greater precision by evaluating each phase of the software development process separately and applying different effort multipliers to each phase. Here you can see the six phases of uh, Detail Kokomo. That is planning and requirements, system structure, complete structure, module code and test, integration and test, and then cost constructive model.